Greetings Space Engineers, this is Commander Noodles and we are back. It's another short video about a problem that has been requested for a solution or a tidbit fix on how to identify when you are trying to place a component or a block and it's hard to see it. And so they were asking what can we do to make it a bit easier to see as you rotate the block how to find it and where it's currently positioned so you don't waste too much time. So without any further ado, I am going to go through a couple of quick things. Um, here are some of the options that we have that we can use to find the problem and get around it. So if we try and put down this light armor block, it's kind of hard when we rotate it around. Sometimes it's been difficult to see the, through the transparency which way it's actually going. So a couple of things we can do is if we're having problems first of all using the left square bracket and the right square bracket which is just to the left of your backspace key or sorry um, your backslash key and underneath the backspace that will change the color and so if you use your home you delete your page up and page down right now it's delete to rotate left you can actually see as we change the colors it will maybe it'll allow us to see what we're doing a bit easier so as we have chosen a yellow color we can see that yellow is a lot easier for us to identify where we want it to be and then the other thing you can do if we don't want to use the square brackets to rotate through the colors if you just hit P for Peter you will have you will have all these wonderful colors here you can set the defaults there but you can actually go in and make your own like that and change all this so you can make it look really cool like that so anyway getting back to it um, this simple solution is just changing the colors now if you have previously seen some of my other videos you will notice that my system although it does a reasonable job doesn't have the best graphics card so I don't have everything turned on and as you can see there's no shadows um, that's just to make sure the game is playable the reason um, I do that obviously is because my graphics card isn't a good but um, I have specifically told some other folks that I will show them what my current graphics settings are. So if I hit the escape key and now I click into options and choose display, uh, my apologies, choose graphics. And this is what I'm currently running. It's currently running DirectX 11. Your flare intensity is set at 1. So this is all pretty standard stuff. Um, you can see shadow quality is disabled. It's purely because the actual machine itself is doing what it can do but this is about the limit for this machine FXAA is set which is good you want that custom quality is custom because we've made some adjustments textures medium vortex is high uh, antroscopic if you have it higher set it to four or eight or even one but try and set it to four at least and foliage always leave up medium um, you can adjust the grass density and the vegetation view distance. Obviously mine is only set 100 meters because my machine won't handle very much more. So there is a very simple setup. So if you're finding that these seem to be easier to see with the transparency than yours, give those settings a go. And you can also try the square brackets and um, P for Peter to manually change the color. If you hit the F1 key, It'll allow you to look at the basic controls and if you hit next page, it'll tell you all the different things that you've got going for you. So you can see um, all the different options and controls just through the F1 key and when you're finished, you can just hit escape. So if we just hit the escape key, but if I look here, view next voxel material on the previous voxel material. And this also allows for colors as well. Here we go, view previous color and next color. So you can see there's a lot of controls here. And so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, put in a comment and fill in either a question or a, you know, just what your thoughts are. And um, I appreciate it. And as they come in, I will make sure um, we respond to them in an appropriate time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing what you guys have to make soon. This is Commander Noodles, out.